This video is pageant etiquette for beginners. There are several unspoken rules and conventions in pageants. I personally have broken a lot of these rules myself. Yes, it was painful, embarrassing, and the memory of some of those still make me so mortified. I just wanna crawl into a hole and never come out. But it's okay, we're all human, and at least I'm sharing them with you so that you don't have to make the same mistakes. Okay, first off, start by bringing thank you cards. Don't forget thank you cards because things will happen during Passion Week. They'll make you stop and say, oh, this would be a good opportunity to really thank someone. The true pro move is to templatize your thank you cards in advance. What it means is you write, dear, leave it blank. Thank you so much for leave it blank. At the very bottom, I really appreciate you. Love, your name, and your title. Make sure you leave a lot of room for you to write in the thing that you're thanking them for. This way, it makes it faster for you to write the thank you card. You're more likely to do it because you have a bunch of cards that are unfinished. And the person receiving the card will be slightly impressed at the turnaround time of the thank you card. So this is something that I wish I did. Gifting is a really big part of pageant culture, and it is totally okay to give gifts to the people who have made an impact in your journey. Your directors, definitely your sponsors, um, your parents, any individual that has enhanced your experience in some way and supported you. Just being able to say thank you with a gift really speaks volumes and really elevates your reputation because it makes people feel good and they say, oh, you know, she's not just a taker, she's also a giver. The next piece of pageant etiquette is to always state your title in its full entirety. There are so many pageant titles out there, and sometimes if you shorten the title, it can get confused with another system. So in general, for instance, if you were crowned Miss California's Outstanding Teen of America USA, you need to say you're Miss California's Teen of America USA and not just say you're Miss California's Teen because if you just shorten it, you're actually infringing on someone else's title. And a lot of these titles are trademarked. So even though we live in a digital time where we like to shorten everything and say things faster because it's quicker, the title is one thing you can't do that with. Because if you don't say your full title, you are misrepresenting yourself. So use your title exactly as it is, no shortening it. The next piece of passion etiquette is actually etiquette in general. It's don't be on your phone too much. Some systems will have rules requiring you to put your phone in your bag, turn it off. At Miss America, they even collected our phones so we couldn't even get it if we wanted to. And this is within good reason. Nowadays in the digital generation, we are so obsessed with our devices. i definitely feel that addictive pull to my phone all the time. Even if you have good reason to check your phone, Unfortunately, it just always looks like you're looking at your phone and not present. So avoid any assumptions that you are distracted or one of those Gen Z, millennial, obsessed with her phone types of girls. Just put your phone away and then go to the bathroom if you need to use it or just wait until you're back in your hotel room. The next piece of etiquette is also common sense. It's don't show up late and leave early be on time. Pageant organizers have a lot going on and the people who have designed the schedule have designed it that way for a reason. The best way you can respect them and show them that you are easy to work with is to listen to them and to be obedient about coming on time. Organizers just want you to follow their directions, okay? Follow their instructions. It's not about you. It's about the overall schedule. There are so many moving parts and there are much larger forces at play. So the best thing you can do is cooperate. This next tip is borderline etiquette and borderline just a best practice. And it's to not say thank you after your onstage question. When you're answering your onstage question, you wanna just answer the question, smile, and then walk off stage. This drives me crazy whenever I hear contestants automatically reply with thank you because it almost sounds like a punctuation end mark. Like, okay, I'm gonna answer the question. Whew, I made it, thank you, walking off. It's not a very gracious, intentional thank you. So just don't say it unless you mean it. The next piece of etiquette is to always return any gowns back to the hanger if you're trying it on. Very relevant if you are a title holder with a gown sponsor or if you are borrowing a gown from someone and you are trying something on in their home or in their boutique. When you are trying on a gown and you take it off, hang it back on the hanger, okay? Don't leave it on the ground. Don't just hand someone a clump of fabric. When you try something on, make sure that you've showered by the way and try not to 
wear deodorant. I know that's weird because no one ever wants to be in the situation of having to choose between being smelly or leaving deodorant marks. When you return the dress to the hanger, don't just hang it by the fabric. You wanna hang it by the hanger loop. The hanger loop is specifically designed to pull up the weight of the dress, especially if it's like a heavy beaded gown. If you don't hang it by the hanger loops, it can stretch out the fabric around the shoulders. So do your gown sponsor or the person who's lending you the dress a favor by hanging up all gowns by the hanging loops so it doesn't stretch out the dress and also come freshly showered so you don't leave deodorant marks on the gown. The next piece of etiquette is not just for pageants, it's in general, it's don't come plain. If you are complaining, someone is listening and that person can just tune out and say, wow, we've got a complainer. Your reputation and your brand, how you behave interpersonally, all affects you and what people think. And sure enough, even though there's supposed to be a wall between the judges and everyone else, we're human. Talk travels fast. If you want to complain and vent, do it in your hotel room, do it somewhere out of earshot. Try not to do it in front of your roommate either because bad vibes just bring the energy down and a good title holder and a winner is someone who brings the energy up, okay? So don't complain and don't talk about your problems unless you have a solution. This next etiquette tip, which I've learned later in life because it's not very intuitive and obvious, is when you receive a gift card, especially from a small business, don't just spend the balance of the gift card. You want to spend more than the balance of the gift card because it demonstrates that you see the gift from the business and therefore don't wanna just take and wanna give back as well. For instance, if your gift card is $50 to a small local boutique, don't just buy shoes that are $49.99 and then walk out the store having spent nothing. Buy a necklace, buy a pair of shoes, buy something that shows that you're supporting that business in return. This just demonstrates that you have an understanding of how the world really works. It shows that you're not just a taker, that you're also a giver. And the business owners will say, okay, she kind of gets it. You know, uh, We've given her something and now she's also supported us in return. And that just speaks volumes and will take you far in life. My last piece of etiquette is related to photos and social media. If you take a photo and it's on your phone, make sure you share it out as soon as possible. Ideally, you would want to also tag every person in that photo if you upload it to social media. Now I know depending on the platform, you have to be friends with someone in order to tag them, but if you are writing a caption and you write one person's name out or one person's title, make sure you get everyone's, okay? I know we can be kind of lazy and sometimes you only tag or acknowledge the people that you know or the people that you're close to, but the truth is whoever isn't tagged or isn't mentioned always notices. And we just want to avoid hurting people's feelings. As a title holder and as the winner, you are someone who is magnanimous, okay? You are someone who represents everyone. So make sure to conduct yourself online uh, with the same openness and sincerity and equal treatment for all the contestants. It is my hope that the unspoken rules of pageant etiquette that you learned today will help you avoid making the same faux pas that I did. So please check out my other videos right here and right here. Or subscribe right here.